Letter from Tilton C. Reynolds to Juliana Reynolds, November 13, 1861 Headquarters, 105th Regiment, Camp Jameson November 13, 1861 Dear Mother, As I have been writing to the girls and have still more time I thought I might as well write to you and give you a full description of the state of affairs in our camp. There was a great excitement here yesterday morning about time we started to meet the enemy. As we thought, some was scared and some were crazy to get going. Some that were on guard was trying to get others to take their place to let them go. But we soon got started me without my breakfast for we got the news about 12 o'clock and after telling them all to be ready at 4 o'clock and cleaning out my gun I laid down in our tent that is the one I used to stay in and went to sleep and did not get awake until the long roll of the drums called them into the line of battle and then I had to get my haversack filled enough provisions in it for one day. I got everything fixed up in a hurry and pitched into ranks and then we started. We marched out about five miles and then we came to a halt and rested a little while and started again and went about four miles farther and made another halt. Here the colonel instructed the men to take it cool and fire low and let them know that the wild cats were made of good material. After this we all stood without our guns loaded. Pretty soon however a messenger came dashing up his horse foaming with word to load immediately and march to the field. We all loaded in double quick time and all thought our balls would be shot out at the sissy shirts instead of a target which we did today. We marched on to the field where we halted but before we came to the field we had to cross a river which was rather bothersome having only a little place to cross on. But the fellows were so keen that they jumped in and waited it. After we had crossed though and had got halted in the field the long roll began again for there was three regiments there on their arms waiting for an attack. Ack. As soon as the roll began every man seized his gun with a determination which showed they were ready for the fight. The colonel ordered if any man was seen running to shoot him like a dog. There was some few however and some that came from handy Reynoldsville that changed color considerable when the drums beat for. Already, I might have been amongst them too but as I could not see my face I cannot tell. But it proved to be nothing more than a signal to have them ready at all times. We were then dismissed for a few minutes. After we had all sat down on the grass the old drums began again. This time we thought surely something would be done. We marched up to Pahik Church where General George Washington was married and halted and lay there about two hours and started for home. Some of the regiments however went to a creek some miles beyond where we were and some of the cavalry got into a little skirmish. I will send a ball to our clipper with our reconnaissance in it. I have it marked. You will see a cross or a few marks by it on the first page. We are in Jan Hein Selman's division. Some of the boys were nearly give out when they got to camp. My feet were pretty sore. I am going to Alexandra tomorrow to get my likeness taken if I can get a pass. The colonel is very particular about signing passes. But if he does not let me out Dylan Hall will be here in a day or two to take pictures and I will get it then. Concert long got theirs taken today. You need not send me any more postage stamps at present I will have money to buy them now. But I must quit this for I have no more room and all I have wrote is about a march to Pahak Church. But I forgot to tell you there was a house where we stopped full of nice furniture which the soldiers broke all to pieces. A splendid bureau which must have cost $50 they smashed to atoms and a city of costly material they served in the same manner. But I must quit. Give my love to Pap Kiss Johnny Tommy for me. Give my love to Willie Arthur accept my sincere love for yourself and believe me your loving son.